half-time conversation here. Will Eddie Howe be Newcastle's manager this time next season? That is the question. Yes, 47%. No, 53%. Um, we, all, we all know about Newcastle. Some of their fans are arseholes. I'm going to say that for a start. I don't. I never noticed this before. I know I've said it before. I don't have any problem with Newcastle. I don't have any problem with Newcastle having money. Man City have got money. They're not a club I've ever had a problem with. I remember Newcastle under Keegan. They were brilliant to watch on Match of the Day. Never had a problem with Newcastle. But oh my God, have they got some horrible toxic fans they're horrible some of them are absolutely horrible some of the worst tweets i get i'll look at their profile newcastle fan i don't know why that is uh, you know i've got no idea but some of their fans are horrible um but i don't mind newcastle i'll probably watch a lot of their champions league games because they've got a great group i don't i quite like watching newcastle um and i quite like talking about Newcastle because it's an interesting project. We've seen what happened with Manchester City and I think Newcastle are going to try and replicate that. Um, I said something last season, probably got clipped up and it's actually coming true. I said towards the end of last season, give it two years, the manager won't be the same. Dan Byrne, Longstaff, Willock, Callum Wilson... They'll all be out the team because that's the evolution you've got to go through when you've got a billionaire owner and you're trying to be the next Manchester City. That's what's going to that's what's going to happen. Well, it's already happening. You know, Dan Byrne isn't actually that good, especially at left back. He's um, he's a liability. Uh, Callum Wilson, you know, he will be out of that team. There's no doubt about that. And Eddie Howe is a good coach. But he will not be able to compete against Pep Guardiola, Jurgen Klopp, Pochettino and Arteta. So I think at some point, Eddie Howe will leave Newcastle. The question is how long? Now, I hope he stays there for three or four years and does really well. But ultimately, Pellegrini, Mancini, Mark Hughes, they were all shipped out. Ancelotti at Chelsea... They were all shipped out because when you've got these owners, they will eventually go, we've got the money to recruit Nagelsmann. We've got the money to go and get Klopp if we want. And that that's what I think will happen. The way Eddie Howe keeps his job is to get them doing what they were doing last year. They've had a really bad start to the season. Um, look, he might not be the Newcastle manager at Christmas. If they're in eighth position and they're out the, they're out of the Champions League, you might be gone by then. But... Look, it's an interesting point. How long do you think Eddie Howe will stay at Newcastle? Because to stay at Newcastle, and I hope he does, he's going to have to challenge for titles. He's going to have to go deep into the Champions League because that's the model that they will have. So it'd be an interesting one to keep an eye on. My favourite clip from you is the Peppa Pig one where you couldn't get it off your TV, says Connor. Um, if Hoyland doesn't fire, will Ten Hag still be here, says Finch. Hey, by all means, chuck it back. I'm not bothered about that. I'm just looking at the Champions League, actually. Um, oh, yes. Get in. Get in. Get in. We do Champions League watch-alongs on That's Football. And I was worried because Man United... You know, like they do Tuesday, Wednesday. I knew Man United and Man City would be split because they're Manchester clubs. And my problem was I didn't want Newcastle to be playing on the same night as United. So they're not. We've got um, Newcastle play on Tuesday, Man United play on Wednesdays. So that means that uh, all the Ma all the Newcastle group games will be the night before or the night after Manchester United, because Man City games are boring. I've ne I, I just can't be asked with Man City in the Champions League. It's too easy. There's nobody in their group, and Arsenal's group's not that great either. So our very first Champions League watch along will be two weeks on Tuesday, Tuesday the nineteenth of September. Um, and it's a quarter to six game. It's AC Milan against Newcastle at quarter to six. So we'll do that. And we may well do um, PSG Dortmund at eight o'clock. There we go. Man United's first game is eight o'clock on the Wednesday against Dortmund. Uh, sorry, against Bayern Munich. So that's how that looks. Um, I'm just looking if anybody else... Somebody just said, has anyone else got to play quarter to six? It's a bit weird in the Champions League, quarter to six... So Newcastle have got one where they've got to do it. Newcastle's group's going to be really interesting. I'm really excited about it. Um, honestly, what do I think Newcastle will do this season just before we move on to something else? Um, 
I think Newcastle. I think Newcastle will. I think Newcastle will come back. Um, I, I, I think Newcastle will come back. I mean, look, they've had a hard start to the season. The only thing I would say about Newcastle is that yes, you've had a hard start to the season, but stop undermining yourself. You know, stop acting like you're an underdog. You you finished fourth last year. You've got a very good team, and is it acceptable to lose to Man City and to um, Brighton and to Liverpool? three games in a row. I think you've got to... I don't think it is. But look, they come back from the international break. They've got Brentford at home. They should be winning that. Sheffield United away. They should be winning that. Burnley at home. They should be winning that. And then they've got West Ham away, which will be difficult. Crystal Palace at home. Uh, Wolves away. So they've got six Premier League games where they'd be looking to get, you know, maybe 12, 15 points. So... I think Newcastle will turn it around. They've got some really good players. They've got a good coach. But it's, it's obviously, I think they could have had a better start to the season. Yeah, I do. I do. Um...